So in this video, what we will do, we will simply include an app bar into this uh, UI, all right? So for that, uh, the first thing which we will do is to include an app bar here, app bar equals app bar, okay? And now title equals, sorry, the spelling of title is, uh, the first letter starts with small letter, uh, row, now children the first children will be text and data will be uh, hi user hi user and next we'll be using log out function okay so let me save the okay well log out all right so let me save this screen and i can see hi user uh log out all right so here uh, i can also use some uh margin uh, so that the logout gets uh, directly into the right side but mm -hmm. Uh, uh for the time being i won't be using any uh, margin okay and uh, what we will do now we will simply include a button here so that uh, if we click on that leading button uh, it gets open a, a new uh, a new drawer gets open from the left side and we can click on some more screens here all right now before uh, we uh, make the drawer at first let us change the color of the uh, nav bar or the app bar for that uh, i am simply using background color and here colors dot uh, let me check using this amber color all right so it's looking it's not looking so nice so let me use the pink color here okay now i can see something it's it's looking a bit nice like the mobile application of snapdeal if you know all right so now we'll be including the drawer in the left hand side we'll include uh, one uh, icon here and if someone clicks on this icon one drawer will get open from the left side of the screen or the mobile now for the drawer let me include drawer equals drawer okay all right so okay now i can see the drawer in this section all right if i click on this drawer uh, uh we can see a screen which gets open from the left hand side of the app okay now let us decorate the uh, drawer uh, for that i will be using background color equals colors colors dot pink and let's use pink accent here okay all right now uh i'll be using child and here i'll be using uh, column and now inside column, I'll be using child equals, uh, sorry, I'll be using children. And let us use the links or the links of the screens as container. And here, child equals text. And let us use the links as link one. Okay. Uh, let us reload the page. I can see uh, link one in this section. Now, uh, I will be using alignment equal left main axis uh, alignment center left. So the link will uh, get into the left hand side. I will also be using margin and edge insets all, not all, sorry, only. And from the left hand side, I'll be using some margin like, sorry, uh, uh, on the left side, I'll be using a margin of 20. And on the top, I'll be using a margin of like uh, 50 since this is the first link, okay? So uh, the link in this section is looking so small and uh, I'm not able to uh, see the text so clearly. So what I will do, I will simply add some decoration in the text. So style equals text style, text style. And now uh, let us use colors, colors equals, uh, white colors white 
Oke, okay, let me see. Oke, okay, so it's looking a bit nice, but uh, still now I'm not able to view the link in a proper way. So let me increase the size of this uh, link. On size equals like 20. Okay. And here is the link. But I think using the colors accent of pink, uh, the number is not looking so nice. So what I will do, I will simply remove the pink accent and I will keep it pink. Okay, so it's looking a bit nice now. Uh, on, uh, on top of the uh, link, uh, here we'll be using some menus, but on top of it, we can also use one method not method we can use one profile picture of the user okay in this section and just below the profile picture of the user we can uh, give the links in this way okay so here uh, i'm not making the project so difficult since this is an entry-level project for flutter so i'll be using some icons in this way okay okay and uh, link one let me even i can in this way Okay, this is the first link. Let me copy the container and paste it again. So this is link two. This is link two, but instead of uh, giving a margin top of 50, let us use 30 now. Container and I'll be using one more link and that is Link three. So instead of link one, we can uh, give it as card view card view orders and contact us. Okay. So these are the three links which we have used in this project. Okay. Now it's time to create three pages for these three links. All right, for these three screens, and for that, uh, I am creating one file, or maybe we can also create one directory. And the directory for view card is card, the directory for orders is orders, and the directory for contact us is contact us. It's totally up to you whether. It you may create the directories or not. Okay, I prefer creating directories and keeping the file in an organized way. So I've created this directory. And now I will create three different files in these uh, three folders. All right, so uh, let us make the video short. In the next video, I'll be creating three files for these three uh, folders and linked it directly with these three uh, links. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for further updates.